the village of Paisley. Now, Paisley is a unique village with parts in both Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. So on this Saturday day, we decided to take a walk through this village. As part of a walking group, we take these walks through unique places. Plisley is so unique, it lies between Chesterfield and Mansfield. Mansfield is in Nottinghamshire and Chesterfield is in Derbyshire. So this village lies between two shires. The river you can see is called River Medin, which is the country's boundary and runs through the village. The most part of the village lies in Derbyshire district of Bolsover. And the remaining part is in Nottinghamshire, in the district of Mansfield, as earlier men mentioned. Pleasley was a mining village with George Sitwell as the iron master who mined iron locally, built a furnace, a forge, and a power source in the 17th century. So you can see that river now, the River Medin, showing itself very beautifully. And what was so unique about this work was the amount of mud we came across. Now, the day before it had rained, and on this very day of the work, it was raining as well. So we were practically engulfed in mud, and I was really intrigued with that. So I tend to show you lots and lots of the mud we're experiencing. Now, part of what you can see in this clip also is the, the rocks in this village which apparently turned out to be the limestone that was used in building most of the houses. Plisley was a coal mining village, as mentioned, for over 100 years, and it was run until 1983 when it was closed down. The former mine is now a museum. Unfortunately, we didn't go to say that. And Plisley had two railway stations at the time, Plisley East and Plisley West. Both stations have now been closed with the nearest station now in Mansfield and Shirebrook. Mansfield is in Nottinghamshire and Shiresbrook is in Derbyshire. Can you see the limestone now in the clip right in front of you? Now, this is what you really get to know this village for. Limestone everywhere. The village has four distinct parts. Please leave Vale. Upper Pleasley, Pleasley Village itself, and Pleasley Hill. Pleasley Village is the oldest part where the river flows with a dam and a mill pond in the center of the village. Some original buildings remain, which was built from sandstone, which can be seen around the old mill sites. Pleasley Vale is a deep, narrow valley formed around the river Medin surrounded by the limestones. Everywhere is mostly limestone. The Vale is the location for industry since 1767. They later constructed water-powered cutting mills in 1782. The mills supply cutting to the expanding East Midlands hosiery industry. Now, part of what I was told was the cutting was actually imported from the USA and then manufactured here. Uh, that I could not find while I was researching on this. But can you see the river flowing? Look at that greenery, so beautiful. It is such a beautiful sight to behold. By 1890s, the mill produced different types of cutting and a third mill was built. Look at the river, look at the woods. The mills continued to flourish, employing over 980 workers on the site as at 1934. Transport to the site was provided by the Midland Railways, which set up branch in 1883 to serve the Colliery. Look at the river flowing. I just love it so much. By 1967, the railway was dismantled. The workers' houses were demolished in 1961, followed 
by the school, the Mechanics Institute, etc. Now, what had happened during the time when Place de Ville was really booming, they had built so much. But by 1967, 1961, everything was dismantled. Now, these are the mills. In the video, I only have just a little clip of it. But further down towards the end of the video, you'll see images which are just pictures that I did take. These are part of the limestone. Look at that. Such a beautiful village with so much history. Such beautiful limestone. By 1987, production in the mill was moved abroad and the mill was closed. Look at that limestone. I still cannot get over it. It was such a beauty admiring this. So much history. So much history. By 1998, the three mills which had made up Paisley Vale's industrial setup had been closed. Now the three mills were then refurbished with over four million pounds sterling and has now been used to provide accommodation for 45 businesses employing 244 people. So much history. Place the veil mill. So they have mill one, mill two, and mill three. And this is the river bed, uh, Medin. And that's the dam that was built over it. You're going to see where the water is flowing all the way down. And this is the image you get to know for Place the Vale. That building that you just saw on the left is part of the mill. I think that was mill one. And this is where the dam was. Look at that. They created all that was used for the industrial setup. Yeah, please leave it. Mills. And that was its image. This reflected the village. And this is us on our way out. Still so much river maiden. So much to see in the woods. Now, would you love to visit places like this? With so much history and so much information from the past? This is what Kawa Tourism is about. Bringing you places alive. Our mission is to bring places alive. These are the mills. Beautiful setup. Pleasely Vale. Get in touch with us if you want to know more about these places and wish to visit them.